Welcome back to Web Cafe AI, where we do daily chat GBT and AI videos for your personal and your business life. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a chat GBT block directly into your website and it requires no code. Now, in order to do this, we're going to be using Zapier's new feature interface. And just for your reference, let's go ahead and talk to our current chat GBT block, which is a landing page we use here at Web Cafe. If you want to build out this exact type of landing page, go ahead and check out that video right there where I show you step by step how to build out this landing page. But for now, what we can do with these chat bots now is fine tune them to get the type of answers we want. So, for example, what are Web Cafe services? And then, as you see here, Web Cafe offers AI automation services for businesses. We have three service tiers at different prices 250, 500, 1000 USD even gives a link to the website as well. As you see here, this is gonna be a fine-tuned chatbot that's gonna be able to answer question inquiries directly on your website. So for another example here, we could be, what would be the best service for my restaurant? And you can already see this is taking chatbots to the next level when it comes to customer uh, you know, retention, getting cold, calls, cold clients coming onto your website. Now they're able to chat something that is fine tuned for your business. So as you see here, thank you for your question. We offer a range of AI automation services that can be tailored to meet specific needs for restaurants, including chatbots, virtual assistants, order tracking, customer service automation, and more. To determine the best service for your restaurant, you we would require more information about your business goals and needs. For instance, if you're looking to streamline your order processing or order tracking and so on, you can see there's a lot of potential here. You can get into some deep conversations. So let's go ahead and learn how to do it. To do so, we're gonna use Zapier's new feature, interfaces. So we're gonna go ahead and click interfaces here. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and create a new interface. Now, if you already like the content you're seeing so far, make sure to subscribe as I plan on diving in a bunch of tutorials when it comes to AI and this new feature in Zapier as we're gonna be able to do so much stuff for your business and optimizing it. For now, we're just gonna say start from scratch as we don't need one of the preset templates. We are just looking to make a chatbot, which I'm then gonna take and integrate it into our current Web Cafe site. All right, perfect. So this is what the interface looks like when you start from scratch. What I'm gonna to wanna to do today is I'm just gonna set up a simple chat bot. So I'm gonna hit chat bot here, say yes. And then essentially let's start fine tuning this chat bot to how we want it. I'm gonna to go to the settings real quick though, cause I wanna make sure that we are matching the theme of the site I'm about to integrate into. So let's go ahead and use the AI theme generator to reset how we want this chat bot to look like. All right, for web cafe, our main primary color here is gonna be green. So we went ahead and put the Pantone in there and then modern and sleek. Let's see what Zapier can come up with. All right, so I really like how this one looks. I'm gonna go with green primary. And then one other thing I wanna make sure we do is that the page background, I'm gonna want it to match the current page background of our main website here. So I'm gonna grab the color of this real quick. This will make more sense as we get throughout this tutorial, but I'm gonna go ahead and up that to that. And then perfect, we have what we're looking for when it comes to the design look of our chatbot. Now let's go ahead and start editing our chatbot. So we're gonna just hit edit here. And then I'm gonna change the chatbot name to webcafe.ai. And one thing I wanna point out is that in the future, we're gonna be able to connect data sources on here. So maybe you wanna chuck in a PDF to send to potential people chatting with the chatbot and so on. We're gonna do more stuff on this later here at Web Cafe, so make sure you stay tuned. And other stuff is that we can set up actions, which we're not gonna do in this specific context, but we could set up in theory a zap that automate something when someone is discussing with the chatbot. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and change the chatbot name to webcafe.ai. And then you can either have a generated or static. I'm gonna say static. I'm gonna say, how can I help you? Today I'm gonna to say, do you have any questions about Web Cafe? Do question mark, and not web cage, I'm gonna do Web Cafe. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and either change this placeholder to whatever we want. I like how it says, ask me anything. That's good for me. From there, we're gonna do the most important part of this tutorial, which is gonna be the directive, but let's make sure we want anything else. You can change the width here. So maybe you want it narrow, a little bit smaller. Maybe you want it uh, really wide. I think in the context of what I do, what I plan on doing here, which is I plan on putting it right here, I'm gonna choose narrow and then center left or right. I'm just gonna stay with center for the alignment. And then from here, you can add a little disclosure saying this is an automated chatbot response. So people maybe don't think that they're talking to a real person. 
And what we can do here is set up the most important part of this tutorial, which is gonna be the directive. Let's identify, let's fine tune and do this with no code. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to identify is what is this chatbot? So for me, it is a Web Cafe AI customer support agent. If you run a construction business, a real estate business, whatever you run, put your branding name and put customer support agent if you're gonna use it in that context. Whatever context you plan on using this chatbot, identify who it is as an individual. So now we need to do the next block here, which is gonna be context. So go ahead and add a context block here. For me, the context is Web Cafe is an AI automation agency. Answer any questions the person filling the form may have. Now it knows who it is as an individual. It understands the context and parameters it's working within. Let's add one final block here, which is gonna be the business information, identifying what is Web Cafe. Now we have our business information block. For me, it is essentially setting up Web Cafe services, which is essentially offering three tiers, 250, 500, 1000 USD, and it caters to various business needs, providing scalability and flexibility. Add as much information as you want here. You wanna give the bot enough to work with so it understands the context of the services of, that the business provides. For example, you may run a you know digital marketing agency. You wanna say, we do SEO, web development, PPC, these are our prices, this is what typically happens, and so on. And from here, we're gonna add one last uh, important block here, which is gonna be your contact information. So the reasoning we add a customer service block here is because of the fact that if an individual is already talking to a customer service agent, there's a high probability that that person is going to basically ask, hey, can I get in contact with someone? I'm interested, let's do something. Now, if you give the bot essentially, hey, this is our email, this is our phone number, it'll be able to provide that within the chat and you essentially don't hit a dead end at a potential lead that you could convert on. Lastly, you wanna make sure in your Zapier account, you are connected with an OpenAI uh, connection, simply adding the API key from OpenAI to Zapier. If you're not familiar with that process, you can check that out on all my videos here, which we show a whole implementing process. But from here, we have set it up to the extent that we want. I would suggest leaving the creativity level to 0.7. You don't wanna add 0.1, it sounds uh, too bland. You don't wanna add one because then it might sound a little too crazy. For now, let's leave it at 0.7. Everything has been set up how I want it to be set up. We're gonna go ahead and hit share here, but we're not gonna use the link. We're gonna use the embedded feature here, and we're gonna go ahead and embed this into our website. Due to the fact that this is a public video, I am going to restrict the domains to essentially just only run this model on Web Cafe AI. And from here, we have basically you set the frame height, frame width. For now, I'm gonna keep those as default, and then whether to include the page background or not, now that we have all that, we can go ahead and copy this. We're gonna say den or done. And let's go ahead and jump over to our main web development software, which is Webflow. If you feel like you've learned something so far in this video, make sure to like the video. It helps us here at Web Cafe AI and is completely free. Let's do some little bit of web development here so we can go ahead and implement what we're looking for here. Now, whether you're using Shopify, WordPress, there is typically always an option for you to add like a custom HTML block or custom code block. In the context of Webflow, it's just called embedded. So I'm gonna go ahead and embed this here. Well, actually, let me back up a couple steps. I wanna kinda embed it a little below that. So I'm gonna double click here. I'm gonna paste that code that we just got here. And then at least for Webflow, it doesn't show it right away. It only shows it if it's published. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish this. Publish selected domains. And then let's go ahead and jump to the live site. We may need to adjust how this looks. But for now, let's go ahead and see if it works. All right, so we got our first version here. Obviously, let's do some tweaks. The first thing I'm gonna do is gonna go ahead and get rid of this built on Zapier. The second thing I'm gonna do is make the height of the underlying HTML smaller. And then the third thing I'm gonna do is make sure that it blends better with the background so there isn't this differentiation in color tone. Before I do that though, let's see if it works. Hello, what are you? Hello, I am a customer support agent for Web Cafe, a company that offers AI automation services for businesses. How may I assist you? I want to contact an agent. And then there we go. So as you saw with our customer service block, it was able to give an accurate email and then, you know, obviously give some nice context. And then you have these little, whether it's helpful or not for your data. And from here, let's go ahead and make those changes. So this looks a little bit better uh, on my side of the site. 
Okay, so the first change we want to do here is we want to come down to branding and we want to change display the built on label. This does require you for you to use the paid version of interface, which is around 20 USD. So I want to give that real quick um, overview on that. But we're going to go ahead and take that off. The next thing I want to do here is I'm going to go ahead and hit share again. I'm going ahead and actually lower the frame height. Let's go ahead and do 300. And then from there, we're going to say no on this. Let's go ahead and see what this would look like. Okay, so it went ahead and upped the changes a little. We don't have the built in Zapier. We've changed the height. What I'm going to do on my end is I'm just going to keep tweaking this until I get something I like. I'm starting to think I don't necessarily want this in this tight compartment as I kind of want to focus on my lead magnet here. I'm going to go ahead and drag this down here, manipulate it a little bit more and get a better look and feel for launching onto this page. Okay, so I went ahead and made those little touches. And as you see here, we have our chat bot. It blends with the background, so it looks good there. And I can go ahead and proceed and ask you questions. Hello? Uh, how can AI automation help my business? And then as you see here, it has a little nice scroll bar that it uses. So it allows me to basically not have it. So it just keeps extending the web page and it just condenses it here. And as you see here, it comes up with these nice little responses and it's fine tuned specifically to my website and the services we provide here at Web Cafe. Now, if you yourself as a business is interested in Web Cafe AI, go ahead and click the link down below and fill out that form and we'll get a free audit for your business. But without further ado, make sure to subscribe as we're gonna go over a bunch of different AI automations and how AI can be used in the new feature provided by Zapier Interfaces. Without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Web Cafe, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.